It's a partial rep A second week of fight within the military leadership in Sudan has left many antagonisms which are not near to end. As a neighboring country, Uganda is closely monitoring. We're also aware that we have a number of our citizens who are working in the Republic of Sudan. And uh, as a neighbor, suddenly whatever happens there affects us very gravely. Even if there are no economic and commercial ties, but being a neighbor, having erupted, uh, the fighting having erupted during the time of uh, Ramadan, and uh, innocent lives, Africans losing life, it means, a great, it means a, something great to us. John Mulimba, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs, describes the situation as catastrophic and reveals that Uganda is diplomatically analyzing the fight and efforts to secure a profitable mechanism to respond is not in silence. We have defense, we have uh, strategic plans on responding to disasters, but you know that cannot be crafted in uh, iron. We, we must make sure that uh, the flexibility is adopted to uh, respond as and when the situation provides. Since the fight erupted, foreign countries with nationals in Sudan are evacuating their nationals out of Sudan through Ethiopia. Uganda, in a statement issued by her embassy in Sudan, shows that 300 Uganda nationals have been secured and will return home. You cut off internet, you limit communication. It's therefore difficult to establish the actual numbers. But so far, those that we have uh, confirmed, about 300, who are in, uh, either working in our missions, who are working uh, with uh, different entities in Khartoum and neighboring cities, and also who are doing business in the Sudan. The fight which has entered second week is concentrated in areas of Khartoum and Darfur between paramilitary support forces and Sudan armed forces. But using the principle of Pan-Africanism, yes, we are alert and we are conscious about securing our borders, but we are also very conscious about the suffering which is being meted out on uh, Africans and the other people on the continent of Africa. So yes, we respond to securing our borders, but we also would like as much as possible, which is one of our commitments as a country, to re responding to any situation that can bring about suffering, especially death, to the people of Africa, with the view of bringing, out, bringing about peace and security. Last week, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development urged both sides to dialogue and ordered that the fight should stop happening in civilian inhabited areas and open humanitarian corridors. Uganda also reached out to call to all parties to cease hostilities and respect and give space to diplomatic means. But also at the African Union, the African heads of states have made a statement and designated heads of states of Djibouti, heads of state of, uh, head of state of uh, Kenya, and that of uh, Burundi, to lead in the peace process, to try to put it to the warring parties, that actually there is life after all this, and you can come together and talk peace. It is uncertain when the situation is likely to settle in Sudan. Daniel Mugoya, UBC News. Well,